Carrie Cutler here, author of Math Positive Mindsets, Growing a Child's Mind Without Losing Yours. And I'm here with my sons, Quinn and McGregor, <laughs> and Quinn, sorry, McGregor, and we're doing an activity called Multiplication Bingo. All you need for this activity are some dice that are marked four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I really literally just put a little bit of masking tape over the dice and then wrote all the numbers on them. And you, each person has their own bingo board, and the bingo board you can see is also handmade. <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine across the top, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine down this column. And how we play is, Quinn, why don't you start? Roll those two dice. Aha, four times four, all right. So do you know what four times four is? Four groups four, of four. Eight, 12, 16. That's right, all right. So Quinn is going to write 16 in the appropriate spot on his board. Four times four, so it'll be right 16 right there. And you can have kids write the whole equation if you'd like or just the product. All right, McGregor, your turn. Let's see what McGregor gets. Nine times seven, which right. equals 76. Nine times seven, 76, you sure? Like nine times I mean, seven. 63. 63, okay. Now, what Gregor gets to decide if he wants to put his nine times seven right here or right here, put his 63. And he'll decide that based on how close he is to getting bingo. Remember that to get bingo, you need six in a row, now vertically or horizontally. Hey, I hope you're having fun building math positive mindsets with your kids. Give multiplication bingo a try.